friends, it's Christy with Bitly Ditly Has Plans. Um, today is Veterans Day, November 11th, and I just wanted to start by saying uh, thank you to all of our veterans, past and present. Um, we're an Air Force family, and so we greatly value and appreciate your service and the, the protection of our country and our freedom. So thank you for that, veterans. Um, that means we are well into November, and I wanted to do a quick flip through of my October in my Plum Paper 7x9 Vertical Hourly Planner. So let's get started. Um, with my October um, tab, I went ahead and I just kind of put a few little leaves there, kind of fall, autumn looking from my Happy Planner Notebook, and we'll get right into it. All right, so I'm really excited about how my monthly highlights turned out. Um, I've kind of got the hang of this page here. I don't even deal with those goal circles there. I completely changed them to squares. Um, and I've got a couple cute little quotes again from my Happy Planner book, Be Brave, Let's Do This, and then my featured kits. So I used quite a few different kits, which is kind of different for me because up until this point, I'd kind of only been using one or two per month, but I just had so much fun with October. Um, so I'm using Planner Kate 174, Orange Umbrella Code 993, Orange Umbrella Code 907, which actually has... Um, the same prints as the Planner Kate 174. Um, but since they stylized their stickers a little differently, it was great to be able to mix and match them. And you'll see how I do that. And then I'm also using Planner Kate 258 and 257 in my week of um, Halloween. All right, so my projects, good times, and currently, this is how I break up my highlights. So these scripts are from a gal named Vanessa Rogel. I found her through a Facebook group. She doesn't have a uh, like an Etsy shop or anything, but if you direct message her, she'll do custom scripts for you. And she's really great and easy to work with and you just Venmo her. Um, so check that out. And then um, on this side, these projects are things I should be able to do within the month. And then these are like my longer term um, projects, which I'm sorry, Emma, I did not work on your scrapbooks at all this month um, in October. My good times, well, October is super busy for us because it's my House of Delegates, my annual House of Delegates. It's the biggest meeting in my year. Um, and so for the first time in its 149th history, we uh, produced it 100% virtually. Um, I posted about it in my, in my Instagram, so you might have seen that. Um, St. Francis of Assisi Day was in October, and so we took Otis to our church, and then we took him to the girls' school, and our English Bulldog was blessed. Um, so he's double blessed for the coming year, and I think, having seen what 2020's been like, I think he needs it. Uh, we were able to get up for a couple of nights up to our um, cabin in Truckee, and so that was fun. And then also, um, October is a big deal, not just because of Halloween, but because it's the anniversary of when I met my husband 22 years ago. Um, so what am I reading? I'm reading The Zookeeper's Wife. And friends, I'm struggling with it. Have any of you read it? Help me get through it. Tell me it gets better. I just can't get into it. And I'm not the kind of person who can just stop reading a book. Once I've started, I have to finish it, whether I like it or not. Um, so I'm struggling with that. And then watching, of course, I'm still watching uh, the Formula One Grand Prix season. Um, I uh, watched the Marvel series, and I'll get into that in this next page. I started Cobra Kai, but I haven't finished it yet. Emily in Paris, um, I think I finished this one in the first week of November. And then I binged the Mandalorian season one so I could start watching season two with my two friends at work. Okay, this was really fun. I feel like my whole month was centered around this. Um, for some reason, I just decided I wanted to go back and watch all of the Marvel movies. Um, I'd seen bits and pieces of them, or I've seen one here and there throughout the years, but I don't. But I had never really watched all of them. And so, what I found out from my friend at work is there's two ways you can watch this. You can either do it in order that the movies were released, um, which is what I did. There's three phases that have been released. Phase four is supposed to release uh, in November, uh, starting with Black Widow, but of course, with COVID and everything, um, it hasn't been released yet. Um, and so I made the list in order and I just went through. Spider-Man Far From Home is the last one I have to see. It's not currently streaming on any of the platforms I subscribe to, so I may have to do on demand. Um, to try to find that one. Or my mom might have the DVD. She's got a huge DVD collection. So um, that's the only one I haven't seen, but I went through all of these this month and it was so much fun because my nieces and nephews are all into these movies and we talk about them and analyze them. And I just, I, I loved them. There's so many 
stars um, that make cameo appearances or that are in, you know, one or two of the movies here and there. It's just, they're, they're great. I, I had a good time. So maybe that's something you'll consider. All right, monthly spread. So this is um, Planner Kate. She does have uh, monthly kits for Plum Paper, which is awesome. And then I kind of like spread out all of my events. I like to use these um, shaded open kind of appointment boxes um, that usually come with either the weekly or the monthly kit. Um, she also has sticker CLR3, which is like this as well. So I, I use those. We've got a ton of birthdays. Um, I've just been using little asterisks to mark the birthdays. These payday stickers are Planner Kate. Um, no School is also Planner Kate. Um, and then for things that are kind of like family outings, I usually use the, the smaller deco boxes. So um, my husband and my younger daughter went to Pennsylvania the first week of October to visit his family. That's where he's from. Um, he went on a guy's fishing trip with his dad and his brother-in-law. So I thought that was great because he hasn't been able to see them in a couple of years. And so I was happy for them that they made the trip out um, and they came back safe and healthy. So that was great. Um, on the sidebar, um, this month, these are all the things that happen weekly, so I just kind of clump them all here um, rather than filling up the space throughout my two-page spread here. Um, so, and then of course I added, this is from Orange Umbrella Co., this cute little spider, um, just to mark that that's Halloween. Um, okay, so diving right into week one. Again, these are a mix of um, washies from the Planner Kate 174 and the Orange Umbrella Co. Um, 907. Um, this cute little quote, every day is a fresh start, is from Chrissy Ann Designs. Um, just tracking using uh, mild liners to create habit trackers. Um, my this week, so these are things that I wanted to get done during the week. No specific day, but just sometime during that week. Um, I'm tracking when I go into the office um, just for contact tracing. Um, they have us fill out a doodle sheet at the end of the week if we've come into the office. And so I kind of keep track of what days I go in. Um, what I did here is because this is the last few days of September and then these are the first days of October, I use these little date covers from my monthly kits um, because as you noticed, I don't... Um, I don't put them down on the monthly. That's just a lot of work for me. So I use them here so I, I don't always have to buy uh, weekly date headers. And so these came from the October monthly and then these are left over from my September monthly. So that's kind of a fun way to, to kind of highlight your dates without doing um, headers every week. So here I am watching lots of movies. Like I was watching a different movie every night of the week. It was so much fun. Um, and then this is my sweet boy, Otis. He's five years old, English bulldog. He was getting blessed um, by our priest at our church in our neighborhood. Um, just tracking my meals, trying to make sure I keep up with my walking and then getting all my chores done. Um, and then week two, so these cute little plaid date headers are from Orange Umbrella Co. Um, again, just m mapping out my um, work schedule during the week, my things I want to get done. This cute deco box is again from Orange Umbrella Co. Hello Fall. I love it. Lots of movie watching here. Um, and then family time. We do a weekly family dinner at my brother's house and all of my chores. Um, I've had a lot of homework to do. I, I was taking a certificate course that I started in September um, for pandemic meeting and event design. And so I was doing a lot of homework in this week preparing for the final exam. Um, okay, moving into week whoa, three of October. And so if you notice here, I posted this on my Instagram too. I don't cover this um, calendar up because it's helpful for me to see what week in the month that I'm in. Um, and particularly in a month when I know I have an event, I highlight the event and then I can count down the weeks leading up to that. And so here we are the week before my House of Delegates. Um, so that's really helpful for me, those visuals. Um, again, no reading guys, I gotta get into that book. This cute little make it happen is layered, uh, this is Chrissy Ann Design, layered on top of Orange Umbrella Co. And again, just washi from um, Planner Kate mixed in with um, Orange Umbrella Co. Um, this green actually matched the kit really well. So I didn't even cover anything up here. And again, these are date dots from my monthly spreads. Um, I turned in my ballot, so I did vote. Um, we took the girls to a pumpkin bat patch in our neighborhood. And then also I took my dad out to see his older sister. He hadn't seen her in years and it was such a sweet visit. He had such a good time. He was so happy. Um, she lives in a care home and at first she didn't really recognize any of us, but I think as our visit 
went on, um, there was a little glimmer of recognition and I know that made my dad so happy. It was really nice. We sat outside in the backyard and she sat at um, the sliding glass door. So it was very safe for her and, and the other members of that household there. Um, so it was just really good. I plan to take him back um, this month as well. Um, and then I took my test. So whoo, passed, thank goodness. Um, that was kind of stressful. I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to plan that right before my House of Delegates. Um, the other exciting thing that happened this week was um, my younger brother, who's right after me, um, called us up and said, hey, I'm getting rid of my old car. Do you want it for Emma? And we were like, wow, what a blessing. Uh, so my about to turn 17 year old daughter now has her own car, thanks to her uncle. Um, and we just feel so grateful for that. It's it's so exciting for her. It's it's one of those things, you know, as your kids get older, you're so proud and you're so excited to watch them become more independent. But at the same time, you just want to pull them back and keep them little. Um, okay, so uh, this is the week of House of Delegates. So a lot going on with setup, rehearsals. My show was Saturday afternoon. Um, not a lot of movie watching. Uh, congratulations to Lewis Hamilton. The Portuguese Grand Prix was this weekend. He um, won his 92nd race, uh, his 92nd uh, win, and so he beat Michael Schumacher's, um, Schumacher's previous record, so that's awesome for him. He's such a great driver and just a really great guy. Um, so that was uh, great to see. I'm using Doodle Girls. I got these little Planner Kate Doodle Girls for planning and for, this is vacuuming because truly that is me all the time. Um, so I love those girls, throwing them in. Um, and then this is Halloween. I did something totally different for myself. Look at all these full deco boxes I use. That's not something I've ever done yet in my spreads and I just went for it. I had a great time. This Boo and Trick or Treat, these are Orange Umbrella Co. layered over on top of their deco boxes from Kit 993. Again, the little spider webs are so cute. Um, I had this black little curly cue from Planner Kate. I thought that looked great. Um, and then this sweet little doodle girl is from Simply Smith Stickers. It was a freebie. And there's another little one here. She's so darling. I had to get her and her big witch's hat in there somewhere. And then this is Steve. Um, Frank and Steve, I guess, from Chrissy and Designs. Um, this is Planner Kate from her kit 257. I love this washi with the banners. Um, this one's from kit 258. Um, here's another Planner Kate 257. So just lots of fun. Halloween, like I said, is the um, anniversary of the night I met my husband 22 years ago. It's also my oldest brother's birthday, so lots of fun in our family. Um, Halloween was not quite the same this year, as you can imagine. I'm sure it wasn't for you as well. We usually get a lot of trick-or-treaters like a couple hundred and we only had three small groups come and totally understand everybody wants to be safe um, but we did have candy for them just in case and so we still had some fun and again here here's where I binged the Mandalorian um, season one so that I could have it all watched and ready for me to kick into season two so my friends at work we all have sort of like a distance watch party where we all decide to watch it on Sunday together and we text each other back and forth so that's it for my month. That's kind of quick, October. A um, lot of birthdays we kind of acknowledged without being able to really celebrate. Um, and then we voted, my House of Delegates, my certificate course. I mean, just all the usual, right? So that's it. That's October, friends. Um, I hope you have a good rest of your day and we'll see you soon.